Let's bring in Isaac Orr, policy fellow at the Center of American Experiment. So uh, copper is very precious, and they, we sent our Treasury Secretary over there to talk about how important it is to go green. Do you see anything wrong with this picture? Yeah, I do, because Minnesota, where I'm, where I'm located, where Center of the American Experiment is, has some of the world's largest deposits of copper and nickel in the entire world. And the Biden administration took a lot of that opportunity off the table by canceling the leases for one of those proposed mines. So the Biden team wants to mine with child labor in Africa. They don't want American workers doing it here. Yes, that's the gist of it, right? So uh, the United States has some of the strictest environmental standards in the entire world for our mines. We pay our workers a living wage, and they have or the MSHA, the Mine Safety and Hazard Administration. So you know, we would be paying American workers a living wage to do a good job that we need the copper for. Uh, but instead, the Biden administration is looking for these resources abroad. So if American miners mine the copper, that's going to raise the price of electric cars, Kamala's precious electric school buses, and it's going to make the windmills and the solar panels three times the cost. We're going to need as much copper as we can get in the coming years, which is why it doesn't make any sense that uh, President Biden is taking these mines in the United States off the table. All right. Well, just send Janet over to Africa and have them do it. I think we figured it out. Thank you very much, Isaac. Appreciate it. Hey, thank you.